Greetings everyone, my name is Atterville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Elden Path of the Forgotten, an indie action adventure game in development by One Rat Games and published by another indie. I wonder why she drew that summoning circle in the first place. That didn't seem like a wise idea, especially without taking extra precautions. And based off of what I've read on the Steam page, I'm not sure if we'll be able to bring her back in one piece. Perhaps physically, but mentally, not so sure. These will be my first impressions, so I apologize in advance for any silly mistakes or false assertions I'll make. Our protagonist here is Elden. They're on a mission to save their mother from ancient horrors, but in order to do so, they have to travel across a blighted land. So attack by pressing X. Mind you, we have a stamina system, so we can't dodge roll infinitely. This was announced in Indie World, Jaden. It was supposed to be in GDC, but of course that was cancelled, so it's now available on Steam. You died to this, didn't you? Are these goblins or bugbears? Something tells me more people are summoning in portals to other worlds. And they're not friendly worlds either. If only I knew what this said. Perhaps we'll gain a translator in the final version of this game. And even though it has pixel graphics, I don't mind it. It's not the overused 8-bit sprite work. It sure wins out in terms of atmosphere. I see, I was being obscured by the mountain there. I regenerate my stamina at the same rate if I'm walking or standing still. Stone Master is no pushover. Is there a way I can heal up? Let me see the key bindings. This game didn't really have a written tutorial for this. Well, guess not. Time to hear more of the muffled music then.
Sony taking some inspiration from the Soulsborne Hunter titles. I suppose this is saying the gate's locked. This game certainly has a more minimalistic way of telling a story, with barely any written dialogue, or text even. Maybe I was able to open up the doors here. Yep. I guess that stone mancer was blocking the way. I think this bird following me is my pet. Now what happens? I'm taking back to the start here. Have all the monsters respawned? Yeah, the monsters have respawned. I got trapped in a combat arena now. getting hit by something I'll take care of the mage once I take care of these snakes So I can sack our enemies by hitting them. Oh, and there's a health potion. As well as a checkpoint. Touch slime, get dizzy. Combat is meaty and satisfying. It has a more Soulsborne Hunter feel, where everything feels more deliberate, and I can't just cancel out of attacks easily. I need to wait for the animations to finish first, and I need to carefully manage my stamina. Thankfully, both me and my enemies are on the fragile side, so it's balanced that way. I'm 
But unfortunately, the enemies are rather bunched up there. And my stamina can't regenerate fast enough. Oh, rats. Apparently getting hit by the slime temporarily reduces my max stamina by two. And somebody got out of the arena. Uh, let's reset this. That's not supposed to happen. What did this crystal do? Oh no, I'm not going to that slime field. This place feels like it was originally habitated. Key, but for what gate? What I would like is a portable health potion, but I suppose it would make the game a bit too easy. So these purple things on the ground restore my health. Also, I wish the game gave me more feedback when I got hit. You saw how much damage it took there. Those slimes are still annoying. Two of them. I'll deal with them a bit later.
Getting stuck in barriers. For those stone master enemies, I wish I could attack faster or had a ranged weapon of some sort. Ah, that came out of nowhere. They're the most frustrating enemies of this demo. I really wish there was a rest button in this game where you sit down and regenerate your stamina faster. I say to reduce their walking speed just a bit after they cast their spell. I'm hoping I'm not walking in circles or I didn't accidentally backtrack because this looks a bit familiar. This isn't though. Could this character's modern summoning ritual have caused all these monsters to spawn in? Or were they coming anyways? This dead body's fresh. Oh boy. You too. I'll try evading you. It's not worth fighting you unless you drop a key or something. See what I mean? There's not enough feedback once you take a hit. There needs to be a louder sound effect. getting caught on terrain too. At least it's down, but now everything is going to be muffled. Guess I have to travel up here then. A map would be handy right now. So if we're fast enough, you can stop them from teleporting. I think this is a good time to give my overall toss on the demo as a whole. I like this game for boarding atmosphere and how the story is conveyed without using any text. Even for the non-menu text present, 
is in a different language, so players are forced to infer their meanings. The graphics and music work together to enhance this feeling. The slower paced combat is responsive, and I like how you can continuously stagger enemies upon successful strikes. This counterbalances how you have a limited amount of stamina and cannot cancel out of attacks. My three main suggestions for the game are as follows. 1. I wish Elden incurring damage was made more obvious. 2. The Geomancer should be slightly nerfed. I'd like a simple map, or more distinguished landmarks. In any case, I wish the best of luck to the developers. Well then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.